Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I have another tag tutorial. This time, the theme is a bee. I am doing a swap with a couple of ladies in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and this lady likes bees, so I pulled a few things from my stash, and I thought I would show you how I make one. I'm starting with a four by six piece of cardstock, and I'm going to go in here and make a mark at the one inch diagonal across there and trim this off. And I'm going to save that little piece that I just cut off so it was right here. And I'll flip it over to the other side. And then I'll cut this corner off and then I'll have matching corners so you don't have to have a punch in order to make a tag. And then I'm going to take this piece of paper which is a page out of an old Bible that is three and three quarters inch wide by five and three quarters inch or 5.75 by 3.75. And what I'm doing is I'm lining it up to where there's an even margin on the left and the right and it's flush with the top. And I'm going to trim off those corners like so, and then that will make a nice mat for my tag. And I saved these little pieces. I found a rubber stamp that will stamp right into that corner so that I can use them on other projects. So I save little pieces whenever possible. I'll show you what they look like stamped. So here's a little and then that can be a little corner piece that I add to a junk journal. So save those little pieces. You might have a perfect stamp for them like I did. And I got that stamp from Crafty Individuals out of the UK. So next one I'm going to do is use some Walnut Stain Distressed Ink and go around the edges of both these pieces. I'm also going to go around the Calico Collage image. So this image was originally about an inch in size. I cropped it out of the whole sheet because the images come in JPEG format. And then I brought it into my Silhouette software and made it the size that it is, which is two and a half inches. I also flipped the image. So I have one that points somewhat to the right and one that points to the left. You can see the differences there and that was just by flipping them in my software. I've also got some little words here that I've created on my silhouette. So I'm just going to trim off. Got a little burr there and then I'm going to use my distress ink to go around it. And these are words that I have in my shop. And I will add the Busy Bee to it. So I'll have that as well. This piece I want to change and give it some color. So I'm going to put it in my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist box. So I've laid that into my box. And then I've made a little stencil. I just made a honeycomb stencil. And I've got a couple of colors of Tattered Angels. I've got... Sun Sisters and Maple Yellow. Sun Sisters is a darker color and it's more gold, so I'm not going to use a lot. But I just want a little bit in there because it's got that shimmer. And then the Sun, the Maple Yellow has a really pretty yellow to it. I'll just use a mop up sheet to mop up the excess. And I'll dry this with my heat tool. I've got the best glue ever with the large no writing cap, no clog cap. So I'm going to, I don't know why I said that, the large no clog writing cap. <laughs> All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the back side of this because I do plan to sew and I just want to hold it in place until I'm ready because it's annoying when you go to the sewing machine and have things slip and slide around. 
So this way it just ensures that I've got it in the right spot. On my Cricut, I created this honeycomb by taking a little shape and duplicating it and it's complicated, but I made it myself. You can download from Cricut. They have some honeycomb that you can buy from them, but I already had some shapes, so I just made my own. And I made it to be four by six in size, so it'll fit on the front of my tag. I'm gonna take a little bit of Distress Ink and just kind of rub it over that honeycomb in a couple of spots. That just deepens that golden hue on there. And I'm going to take the no clog tip and use it to place just little drops of glue here and there. Again, I plan to sew, but I don't want this shifting on me before I get it all put into place. So I'm just going to go in here and add little drops here and there. So I've just added a bunch of little drops and then I'm going to place this on top of my tag base. Try to get it as centered as possible. And just gently press it into place. I'm going to trim off the excess. Then I have a scrap of fabric. This is a three and a half inch square of fabric that I found in my stash. And I know that I want to put it, yeah, probably like that. So I'm just going to put a couple of drops in the corners and then maybe right in the middle, just kind of, just little dots. And set this on here. And I've got a little bit of some lace that was tea dyed, a friend of mine sent to me. So I'm just going to put a few drops of glue on the back side in the solid areas and lay that on top. And then I've got this little B image, so I'm going to put a little glue on it. Kind of rotate it to the side. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew around the perimeter of the tag and then around the B image and that should have all this stick together really well. I'll be right back. I've stitched around the B image and then I stitched around the perimeter so you can kind of see the stitching on there. I've got my little words that I've already added distressed ink to so I want to place those on here. Let's go right about there and then I have a piece that's the negative from the honeycomb. I'm just going to add a little distress ink around the edge and I'll put a dollop of glue on the back. I'm going to stick that right here in this corner. I've got my crocodile hole punch on the larger side. So I'm going to punch a hole in the top center. Then I have a little scrap of fabric hook that through the hole and I just kind of twist it around and as I'm tying it I'll manipulate the fabric before I pull it all the way taut so you get a real pretty top to your tag with the fabric. And lastly I'm going to take some tulip dimensional fabric paint and we're going to go around the wings and add a little bit of glitter in there. And then I'm going to add some glitter on the flowers. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of glitter around this little honeycomb piece that I put on here. I think I'm almost out of paint. And when that dries, it'll have a little pretty glimmer, glittery look to it. Here's one that I made earlier that the glitter paint's almost completely dry. And you just kind of see that shimmer on here. And I love the way that looks. 
So there's two tags that I made that are going to this swap partner of mine that has a bee theme. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment below, check the description box for the images and products that I used today for links to those, and check out my Facebook groups as well as my other social media connectors so that you can check out what I'm doing that may not make it to YouTube. And let's see. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this take of what I would consider a kind of a vintage bee tag. All right, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Bye.